Hi, I'm Cabinet Otter. I have a lot of ideas. Most of them are pretty bad. This week's idea is absolutely no exception, but it is very inaccurately based in history. This week's game is called Curical Circus. Here's your 30 second back of the box summary. It is a truth universally acknowledged that young people in possession of good fortune and excess of time and little sense will find diversion in ways most wicked and reckless. Speaking of wrecks, that's what you'll try to avoid becoming as you don the top hat of a Regency gentleman and take up the reins of a fashionable fate. Make the neighborhood ladies swoon as you defeat the other top hat racers in an excessively violent and historically inaccurate race where the rules of decorum are laughably lax. Upgrade your gig and horses. Use your social clout to get accomplices who can help you by pelting the other competitors with fruits and insults and ram the other racers from the road. Win and be the height of fashion among the ton or lose and be social roadkill. So in Curical Circus, you take on the role of a dashing young gent of high society wants to make a splashy reputation as a daring and talented driver, so you can win the heart of the mopiest but prettiest lady in town. Seriously, why were they always so mopey back then? I guess I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't have video games. You'll take on the reins in first person mode and race other curricles and phaetons in thrilling high speed chases. You want to keep your horses pressing onwards, but also use your curricle as a weapon to ram other racers off the road. It shouldn't surprise you that I couldn't find any stock footage of that, but here's kind of what the horses look like. As your social clout grows, you can get buddies to roll along with you. They can demotivate the other racers by shouting period appropriate insults, or simply throwing rotten fruit. The more you race, you can get faster horses, upgrade your curricle for speed or stronger defenses, and overall climb the social and racing ranks. Because God knows they didn't have much else to do back then. Thanks for listening to this very brief little concept. I hope you got at least one good laugh out of it. Uh, and I hope to see you back next week for yet another terrible idea. See you soon. Bye. Hey, it's me, Cabinet Otter. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more or come hang out with me live on Twitch. See you soon.